that of the hundred dominant economic units in the world today, the hundred largest economic units, and that's the word they use was units, 49 are countries and 51 are corporations. Now, you digest that for a second. What does that mean? It means that corporations are the driving force of decision-making today. And corporations are not concerned with human rights. They're not concerned with human life. They're not even concerned with a proper wage for the people that are working for them. So what kind of decisions are going to be made on our behalf? You know, I lived through it. Especially you young people, you haven't any idea that this was, this nation was turned from a productive society. And around the end of Eisenhower's term, term as president of the United States, they began to switch to a consumer society. They start pulling out, outsourcing all the, all the jobs. Now you have America, one huge Indian reservation. No economic development. You can't even support yourselves unless you sell munitions to Israel or, or somewhere else in the world, to all of African nations. So you see, colonialism works against the Indian. Colonialism works against the American. So whatever this disease of aggression and violence and greed and all, whatever this disease mentality is, it lives in this life system now. It's eating up the spirit of, of the diseased. They, they, and they don't even know it's happening. <laughs> they, have, they, they, don't, they, they, they have no relationship to being. They only function and react as humans. They have no relationship to being. Being always is. This is how we're with our ancestry and with our descendants. Being. When we leave as humans, we go back to being. Being. Human being. That really means something. But we live in a reality now. We're in a time where I would say to anyone, you know, protect your spirit. <laughs> protect your spirit because, because you're in the place where spirits get eaten. And we were told uh, long ago that we would see America come and go. Now, I wondered what generation that would be. What would be the signs that we would see America in its failing times? And I think we're in that. And I think that this kind of exploitation is more recognizable and identifiable and the cultures are getting stronger and beginning to realize it's about your own survival and not about America so much. But the more pollution there is, the more cancer there is. So you begin to see a nation dying from within more than anything else. And the, the family unit has fallen apart so much that there is no more family. And they, yet they keep talking about family values. It's long gone. They, the, the people who move away from their own families and they never see them. People die lonely people wherever they are. We live in this mainstream society, the American society, that is a, a place in a world of illusions. Everything you have and everything that's been technology, that's all illusion. Because you have to follow certain laws to live by that. See? Certain laws. And in the spirit world, you don't have those. You want to fly, you have to get in the airplane. In the spirit world, you don't have to get in the airplane. When you're going to fly, you will fly like that. But to all these governments that all around the world are pretending to be governments and try to play the role of a god is about to come to an end. Hello.